Hello, everyone, and welcome to Girls Run These Worlds. My name is Anya, pronouns she, her, and I will be your guiding voice today. We are going to be playing Under the Floorboards by Chris Bissett from Loot the Room, uh, where we are playing two-inch tall floorboard folk living in the Bigs world and borrowing from them to survive. This is a fluffy game of exploration and found family. Uh, we have one physical copy and digital copies of the game to give away, one for each episode, courtesy of Chris himself. And today we we have two PDFs to give away to someone in the chat. So uh, to enter the giveaway for the digital copy today, type exclamation point floorboards with an S into the chat. Uh, and you can do that throughout uh, the show. So let's go around in a circle and uh, get everyone to introduce themselves. Oh no, the preview doesn't work for me. So I am just going to uh, look at the order that I see. And let's start uh, with Caden. Start with me. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hey, hi. I'm Kaden. Uh I play gosh, it's been feels like it's been two weeks. I don't know. Right. I play brandy buttermilk bucket. And for me personally, I got nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> well, your name and pronouns, character name, pronouns, oh. and what she does. Yes, Brandy is she, her, and I am a they, them, and there you go. I, <laughs> I have no memory of what I'm supposed to do with this part. Um, Brandy is the <laughs> transporter of the group. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to write these things down so I remember next time. <laughs> okay, let's go to Lola. Hi, I'm Lola, also a they, them, and so is Spinnaker, Spinnaker Tuffet, the builder of the group, uh, they, them. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then Natalie. All right. Hi, everybody. I'm Natalie. I use she, they pronouns. While I am playing Pen Tuffet, he uses they, them pronouns, and they are a scout. Yay. And finally, last but not least, triumphant return, we have Tina. Hi everyone, I'm Tina. I use she, her pronouns and I am playing the lovely Dusty today. And Dusty uses she, they pronouns and she is a trapsmith. Perfect. So I'm going to just burp all the time right now because I'm having spicy water. Anyway, uh, last time under the floorboards, our dear Tuffets, along with their nervous neighbor Stumble Mantle, ventured into the giant ticking grandfather clock to gum up the gears and dismantle it to stop the constant overly loud clanging noises. Our trusty trapsmith Dusty and the Tuffets Dormouse Eek were nowhere to be found, but for good reason. Dusty, you've known Eek most of his life and are really good at communicating with him, even though you don't share a language. He wanders off on his own, takes care of himself, finds food somehow, you don't want to question it, uh, but he always comes back home to snuggle and check in with all of the Tuffets. Um, the, other, the other son, as we've established, they don't say days, um, he came scampering to you, squeaking very urgently. What? What's wrong? Eek, do, do, do we need to go? And he's like, kind of turning his shoulder and is like trying to do a little scamper and then looking back and doing a little scamper. I am sure Dusty has seen this before. So. Oh, absolutely. It is purely the sign of <laughs> you need to follow me. Yep, they know what this means, so mm -hmm. I reckon Dusty would hop on Eek's back and take off. Yeah, and being a Dormouse, Eek is much lighter on his feet, and uh, as you see the between spaces of the house flash by, you find yourself in the playroom that Brandy had previously found. There are all manner of toys and boxes scattered around on the floor, and in, in the cardboard boxes, several have corners chewed or cut out very clearly to leave an ingress for someone of your stature. So uh, Eek surges forward and leads you to one of these boxes. And my question for you is, what has he found in there? I think... Eek knows what I like at this point, and 
I think there's probably some doll furniture in there. I wouldn't mm-hmm. necessarily know that they're doll furniture, but mm-hmm. um, definitely my scale of, of items that we could use for our own living. And that's why he's so excited. Mm-hmm. And uh, he is uh, absolutely like, wriggling with excitement here that he's found something really good <laughs> you are so good eek, eek, how did you find this already you uh, you are amazing and he goes and he tries to nibble on one of the chairs a little bit and then stops and realizes that that's not something that he should do and just kind of she like just shakes her finger out of her and is like <laughs> Not the furniture, not the furniture. (laughs) So while you are in this space looking around, um, you see like there's all different kinds of little bits of furniture here. You see a couple of like little wooden chairs that actually have really nice detailed wicker, which you wouldn't think would be possible in in the small scale that it is, but it looks like it must have been very finely carefully done. Um, and you see little twists that, you know, to you are about yay big but it looks on the bottom it looks like maybe someone did this by hand oh wow these are the nicest pieces of furniture we'll ever have had (laughs) so uh dusty what would you like to do here do you want to just look around and uh, bring word back did you want to try to take anything yeah i think I would try to take a sample if I could and get Eek to carry it so that everyone knows what I mean. Um, Mm -hmm. And I think it probably would have like a general gander outside the boxes too and be be a bit brave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, you're able to take what is actually like just a little stool that's almost perfectly sized to you uh it's just slightly askew but of course it's meant for a a doll uh not for a floorboard folk uh however you are able to like strap that onto eek's back uh as proof to show uh the rest of the tuffets what you've found and uh looking around in this space you just see all manner of like it looks like there's some kind of racing track that's getting set up here. And not only that, but there are like uh, towers made of weird uh, bricks that seem to be clicked together and uh, wooden things and uh, just all over. It doesn't 100% make sense, but it looks like uh, something that a a child uh, came up with. Uh, to create a city, basically. Wow. I think Spinnaker needs to see these bricks. But hmm, I wonder if I just push this one over. And just <laughs> in her usual trapsmith nature, she's going to be like, if I hit that just so, that's going to mm. jenga. <laughs> oh, uh, you're going to try to knock over some tumbling block towers? Okay, Uh, so I would like for you to roll sturdy because you're trying to push it. Let's see if Dusty's strong enough. Dusty got an 11. (laughs) An 11. Okay, not too bad. You do what you intended to do. So describe what happens. What does it look like? (laughs) I think they would probably pick the most colorful tar and just sort of play with the physics on this so because that could be useful for a trap or distraction later so they need to work out how these work (laughs) so they're just gonna go over and like push the top one and maybe not be quite satisfied with that and then push further down to make a whole cascade and like dodge all these bricks (laughs) fall Oh, well, if you're going to go that route, then I am going to need you to also roll Agile. (laughs) I love it when y'all make problems for yourselves. Five total. (laughs) 
Um, your actions were unsuccessful. <laughs> so I'm going to say that this is probably the reason why, like, um, yes, Eek led you away while everyone else was going to the grandfather clock. But this is the reason why it took so long for you to return as you get absolutely buried in <laughs> a pile of, uh, like, rather heavy uh like wooden bricks and like plastic bits and things like that and um it takes you quite a while to like burrow yourself out with eek's help uh but you do eventually manage to break out of that and you wait and listen for a moment no bigs around apparently it wasn't a loud enough noise for them to notice at least that crisis was averted. <laughs> Eek, we need to get Spinnaker to these bricks. I think I think they would know exactly what to do with these. He just kind of squeaks excitedly at you. <laughs> you did some great finding today, friend. He just nuzzles into you like, yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Now we come back to the present day as uh, everyone has reconvened uh, back in the home of the Tuffets. And uh, you are all having your breakfast in your new little home here under the floorboards. And for our establishing question today, what additions have been made to your, uh, like, what additions have been made since your successful grand escapade to stop the terrible clanging noises and Dusty's own exploration into the playroom so far? I think Spinnaker has, uh, tried to make use of the things that they harvested from both the, uh, like little hoover mm -hmm. <laughs> so some of those bristles that they've now repurposed into like um their own little sleeping thing so because you've okay. got to keep the space tidy oh yeah and they're like uh, working out ways to try and make it um or like a little bit more automated as it were but on a small scale so they've also taken some of those bobbins mm-hmm and um, they've attached the bristle, bristles to the bobbins, and so now it can be kind of rolled around and like okay see if it work. But they're still faffing around with it and, and trying to figure out whether it's going to work, what it could look like. It's it's only on its second or third iteration. You understand? Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> I love that so much. Okay. Well, pen for pen. Um, I think they're they're taken out to be a little creative, um, as they usually run around and scout about stuff, making sure everything's safe, getting used to the patterning of the house, especially now that's something major that we had a hand in change. Um, I think they started collecting little pieces of different colored glass that they found broken in different places. So they get like a little blue piece, a little green piece, a little brown piece. Um, my head's going to like East Coast sea glass, but <laughs> um, mm -hmm. here in Canada. But essentially that where they're just collecting up these little pieces and then uh, when they bring them all back, they make almost like that, um, like, glass art putting them all the pieces together to make like this pretty little not even like a picture of anything it's just like this abstract art of glass and color so that when it hangs up we can catch different lights passing through it oh that sounds so cool mm -hmm. um perfect where do you hang it hmm It'll have to be a place that gets a good amount of light bouncing through, if not, if we haven't collected any fairy lights ourselves at this point. Um, maybe by what will eventually be our sort of doorway that we plan to have. Okay. 
Yeah, and you have been building up this space a little bit more because when you first came, you know, you hang, you hung uh, bits of fabric and things like that, kind of to create a vision uh, in the space, uh, kind of like the frameworks for uh, what was going to be your home. But uh, you found uh, tumbling blocks. Uh, you found all manner of little bits and pieces. Uh, there was a a, a broken uh, CD that you found kind of uh in the in the basement in that uh um my english is not englishing the cellar <laughs> um just a random broken cd that you've been able to haul up and like make it into a wall uh i'm sure with brandy's help on the hauling aspect yep definitely um <laughs> <laughs> uh, Exploring with Penn, Brandy came across a washcloth or two on the floor and managed to drag it down. <laughs> what, 10 times her? <laughs> and well, if they're little washcloths, it's like yeah. that big, it's and you're like this big. Area rug to us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One we could use for area rug and the other we could cut up and make blankets for ourselves out of and mm -hmm. try to make things more comfy. Comfy's good. Yeah, comfy's very nice. She thought about the big bath towel, but decided to... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those really thick, comfortable things. And <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I kind of want to see that interaction right now. I feel like uh, Brandy and Penn had gone on an exploration. Maybe got it like halfway out of the bathroom and like, yeah, nah. <laughs> it's going to take us like three days to get this down. <laughs> <laughs> the big see it by the bathroom, then they find it by the hall, and then they find it. Yep. <laughs> and then it resets every time. We're like, darn it! <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Okay, and then but Duffy. she's determined. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe one day. Yeah. <laughs> Should I add that to the list with the uh, the water bed? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Dusty, what have you brought back? Besides, of course, we have this nice little footstool now. Yeah, so they brought back the footstool, but they also love collecting scraps. So I think I was describing that um, back in episode one. They like to make things and like, add them to their clothing. Um, so they would have found, like, scraps of the kids drawings they would have like ripped the colorful pieces off maybe some discarded sweet wrappers um from whatever you know sweets or candy that the the kids like to eat and um a couple of like colorful but lightweight pieces like that i think Okay, easily enough. And I remember that you had uh, sent me a message um, talking about like uh, wallpaper and stuff like that. <laughs> yes, yes. I think they would love to use some of the, the kids' art as um, wallpaper. Um, it would just be really pretty with all the crayon, got a bit mm -hmm. of texture and color, and yeah. Very cool. So it is between um this uh strange contraption that spinnaker is trying to make to clean up the space and uh brandy bringing back a rather nice area rug for you and this beautiful woven glass situation and the kids art it is becoming very much a home here it is vibrant and lively and uh, you're starting to feel yourselves just relax a little bit. There was that sense of um, we're starting over again that uh, you didn't quite realize maybe like was making you a little bit tense. Uh, but now as you're able to see things fall into place, it's 
a nice moment to look out and look around at what you're turning into your new home. And so, Dusty, you are showing them this footstool that you have brought back. Look, it's much, much better than the usual stuff we find. And, like, it looks like the bags maybe made this. Look at it. Look at all that detail. And there's lots, there's lots more back in that room. Fascinating. Do I do see what you mean about the detail, but I, I don't I don't see why they have any use for something as as small as that. However, I think it could be very useful. Were there any more supplies? There were boxes and boxes. Eke did a great job. He like chewed little holes to help us get into all of those boxes, so we we can check everything. Oh, excellent! And 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 and, and where was this? It was in the, the bright room where the little bigs tend to be. Oh. Right. I mean, some and already made furniture would be excellent. Mm -hmm. It's it not because you be dislike my furniture, is it? Okay. No, 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 no. It's just easy. And then we can make it our own and we can maybe like add some fabric and i like a little detail here and a little detail there yeah base structure mm -hmm. yeah. and then you can just add to it make it look even better spitaker well i i, I wouldn't want to, to tamper with another builder's work even if they are big but uh <laughs> um I, I'm, I'm i'm sure that it would save me some time and and free me up from some more projects if I yeah we should get them yeah get the mundane stuff out of the way and then that frees you up for more exciting builds mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so in this case Dusty I need you to roll to test your memory because today you are the scout uh, so I would like you to roll plus perceptive to test your memory. That is an 11 in total. I remembered that my cheat sheet is up here. So why am I looking on that? Um, so testing, testing your memory. On a result of 10 plus, your memory is good and there are no changes. Okay. Very well done. Um, and then uh, we need everyone to test your luck. So who has the highest luck modifier now? I'm at three. Three. So we have a three. Okay. So everyone roll 1d6 and we will take the two highest plus that three. I rolled a six. <laughs> okay. Two. One. <laughs> so eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Sounds good. So um, a couple of things that you noticed, Dusty, um, and this was uh, in your scouting, just to give you a little bit more of a description. There were a couple of things, and I would say Brandy probably might have seen one or two of these things as well. Uh, there were a couple of things that could potentially cause a problem. Of course, there is the the race car situation uh, with all of the tumbling blocks and things like that. Uh, but also um, there's a cupboard in the corner of the room that uh, the mantles warned you is nicknamed the avalanche. Um, and that is because it is always full of really interesting things to borrow, but opening it can trigger a massive collapse. So you have to be very careful when trying to open this cupboard. Gotcha. 
gotcha. I would probably relay that really quickly to everyone, and I would be sure that I point out the construction materials to Spinnaker. I'd be like, they have these blocks that are miniature. It's a it's a construction material, but our scale. <laughs> So this is all back in the Tuffet's home that you're describing all of these things, where it all is. Um, and this playroom is this small room that's offset from the kind of living space where Brandy previously found a couple of extra needles where uh, clearly one of the bigs was watching that massive box that's on the wall uh, while working on a sewing project. And so um, you all are able to uh, make your way there uh, easily enough. And uh, coming out of one of the, the many cracks in the walls, um, you find soft furnishings, mounds of stuffed animals, and endless bric-a-brac that is perfectly sized for fo floorboard folk. What feels like rolling hills of plush, multicolored cushions are just scattered everywhere in this soft room. Uh, there are massive building blocks that tower above you in a seeming labyrinth with toy cars very much your size scattered around and between the tall columns, some of them flipped on their sides. And you do note that at the very top of what looks like a giant hill to you, is one of those cars just like standing at the very top. And Spinnaker, you would recognize that very easily as being, oh, if someone were to jump on that or push it, it would go all the way down. So up to you if you want to mention it to Pen, I would say. <laughs> Uh, beyond this, uh, just to give you a full view of this room, uh, there's a very tall easel uh, that leans against the wall that you see, um, like on the um, on the cross uh, bit. You see that there's a packet of colorful pencils, and amidst all of this glorious, beautiful mess, where it's so easy for the bigs to misplace things. You see a colossal bright pink dollhouse with a wide open side resting on a low red table. Wow. So here's the scene set before <laughs> you, as well as the things that Dusty uh, found. Oh, there's so much here. How should we tackle this? Oh. Can't hear you, Spinnaker. Sorry, I muted myself. Uh, <laughs> thought I was unmuted in the first place. I think Spinnaker is probably already investigating these uh, building materials, like the um, tumbling blocks and anything else that can be repurposed. Mm -hmm. But it's also clutch knife the cushions. Yeah, and they are all kind of a variety of sizes. You see one that's a little bit smaller and thinner that has like a, um, you don't know what it is, but it's some kind of animal that maybe it's a mouse, but it has this big orangey tufty thing all around it. And the tufts are like very, very fluffy. Oh, it's <laughs> like, almost like a lion. <laughs> Gosh, a lion to a forward folk. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like a flat cushion and it just has that image on, like, mm -hmm. sewn onto it and then the tufts all around. Yeah. And it's about yay big in, in human scale. Right. Is it one of those ones that has a zip on the side? It does, yes. Okay. I would be trying to get in there and, and pull out some of the stuffing so mm -hmm. that I can stuff uh, like pillows and beds and things like that. Mm. Yep. Easily enough. That's not something that you need to roll for. Like the zipper zipper is a little bit big and so um it takes some time, but it's one of those that's like the the super big teeth. So it's very easy, uh comparable to pull it open. It's a bright orange as well, a little bit brighter than the uh uh, 
the main that it's trying to mimic. Uh, and you're able to pull out plenty of stuffing from it. Right. I'll stuff it into what amounts for my pack, though I, I don't mm -hmm. tend to carry that much on me. And uh, <laughs> we'll kind of decide, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll check on what the others are doing because I've got kind of hyper focused into my own little <laughs> little world. <laughs> Speaking of, what are the rest of you doing? I think Brandy is climbing up that little red table to get to the dollhouse. Just want, want to explore that right away and see what's Yeah, Ben was in the same mind. So yep. we're. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay. Duo. <laughs> I feel like you are a very chaotic duo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I am going to have you both roll enduring, but this is more just to see how easily you climb up. You do successfully do it, but if you fail, it can be kind of funny. Okay. I rolled a nine tro total. I got an eight. <laughs> okay, you both do what you intended to do, but with a complication or cost. Now, it says that I describe what happens, but you all come up with the funniest things. <laughs> so I'm going to say, um, just to like give a little bit more description, this is one of those like plastic red uh, tables that you like pop the legs into, you know, mm. uh, very clearly like kids table situation. So um, like a little bit slippery, that kind of thing. So what do you all do like trying to climb up to this and how collectively do you partially fail before getting the rest of the way up? Well, I think we still have some of the sticky gloves from the mantles, but they're well worn at this point after our adventure. So I know Penn's like trying to do it, but like a gecko like gets up to a certain point before it starts slipping down. <laughs> Almost like in like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild when it rains and you start slipping down every single time. It's just like do 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 or only go like an inch at a time. <laughs> oh no takes a very very long time for you to get up that leg compared to like if the stickiness was fully there <laughs> and brandy how about uh, you brandy would pull out her typical pins needles whatever and because it's the hard plastic it's extra effort mm -hmm. to get it so it takes forever and one of her needles breaks It's not good. <laughs> Such a shame. I feel like it's one of those things of just like thinking about the the tension point on a, a pin. I feel like it would be like be just the tip. Um, it would be just like just a little bit of it that's been like wedged in there, and then on like you trying to pull it out again, it just snaps along it so it's embedded in there it's not a safety hazard for a small child um but it uh yeah your uh your needle is now like this much shorter which is significant and it's no longer mm -hmm. pointy on the end oh man <laughs> so it takes three times as long for her to get up <laughs> mm -hmm. luckily for she's sure. strong and she can get it in there yeah but yeah and you do eventually manage to get up to the top and uh you see before you because i need to have a visual so i'm looking at holy moly why is that so expensive dollhouses <laughs> man oh huh. there's some <laughs> huh. um you see oh that's an interesting one okay it's a lego version that would be why but also kind of makes sense. Fully constructed, although one of the, um, uh, what are the words? Uh, palm trees has fallen over. Uh, you see in front of you a very, very garishly pink 
uh, kind of brick built house. There is a layer of that bubbly material that you know, like uh, attaches things to each other. Um, there's a bright green layer, and you see what looks to be what is pretending to be a body of water, like a little puddle uh, to you, anyway. Um, and there's like this round circular pink thing directly in that blue spot. Uh, and there are uh, multiple levels uh, to this um, dollhouse uh, of some nature. Uh, but yes, everything is kind of like that blocky uh, sticks to each other kind of thing in the space. It's a, I don't know if I can say the brand name, uh, a building block like stick together building block house that is very pink. That's a bright pink. Yeah. I mean, could make for one good wall. I uh, don't want it everywhere. That's just a little too much, but yeah. one good wall. Yeah, there are some uh, white uh, bricks in this space as well. And you see uh, within that there are uh, miniature, um, what could be uh, repurposed to be real lamps uh, within it. And you see some like fake flowers and things that are your size. A lot of this could be really good decoration. Definitely. Haul them over and throw them over the edge. <laughs> Classic move. I mean, honestly, it makes sense. I have no so much to found. <laughs> Dusty's underneath and suddenly gets covered in flowers. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, easily enough. You're able to like pull all of these and it's like a little bit of an effort and then it just pops out and you see that there's like a hollow space on the underside of it where it had been stuck into uh, the uh, the spot that it was in. This is really interesting. I like these blocks. Dang. Yeah, it's an easy if you ever have to tear down a move for sure. Go scrounging around, seeing what else is in there. Yeah, let's you go know? inside. <laughs> Did we bring Eek with us, or at least some assistance to bring some of this stuff back? Eek is chilling on the ground. Okay. And just for uh, an ease of visual sake, I'm just going to send y'all the, the link to what I'm looking at. <laughs> okay. Um, keeping in mind, it's the German website because I'm in Germany, so it's, you know... Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's very pink. Wow. I love oh. that. Considering I see uh, another toy brand on that, yes, it is that pink. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, man. That is scary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is blindingly pink. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dream house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know whose dream, but yeah. it, it's certainly a house. <laughs> that has a slide. <laughs> it does have a slide. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, meanwhile, Dusty, what are you up to? Are you I, getting pelted with flowers? <laughs> I think so. So I think what's happened with Dusty is they were so excited to show the pieces that they find but they kind of forgot that everyone else here probably has more experience than them and has their own like interests and stuff. So everyone else has found something kind of more exciting than our boxes. So <laughs> she, she's kind of like, and there's the, uh, uh, oh, <laughs> um, but did you see the, uh, oh, oh, that's more exciting. Yeah, that, that house is amazing. So she's kind of like following along behind everyone as they're making like bigger discoveries. Like, oh, oh yeah, you you saw that. That's even better, huh? Wow. <laughs> <sighs> and.
and you all are in the midst of gathering all of these little bits that you're finding when you hear the scurrying of tiny big footprints as the door slams open what do you do <gasps> drop to the <laughs> floor Ow, it's kind of bumpy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like army crawl to a corner in this pink house. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, hide as best you can. I think given that I'd gone for the cushions, I think yeah. I'm on the, like, is there somewhere it's something I can kind of burrow in into? Yeah, um, you haven't closed this uh, lion cushion yet, so if you wanted oh, to, you could just kind of duck into it. I think I'd be worried about suffocating. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there is the, the main tufty bits, so if you wanted to like hide underneath, like in between some of that, you probably could manage that. Yeah. <laughs> My face pressed up against the seam. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Dusty? I think Dusty is going to just freeze up against one of those red table legs because they're kind of close to there, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you all kind of find your various places to hide as a, uh, a very small, comparable to most bigs, child uh, rushes into the room. Now, um, I'm not going to try to mimic a giant's voice because that's what it would sound like to you, uh, but you just uh, hear this small child say, Auntie, Auntie, where are the toys? Where are the toys? Uh, as, it, uh, as they rush excitedly into this room and they just stop and go, wow, and just eyes straight on that dollhouse. <laughs> they start to step closer and closer uh, when you hear a woman's voice from the doorway saying sweetheart not now it's not time to play with the toys you need to say hello to your auntie and the child just stomps and you feel it shaking on the floor as the child stomps. And I would say probably makes you bounce up a little bit as well. Um, especially like uh, everyone except for maybe Spinnaker who's in a cushion. <laughs> but it's a little bit jarring. And they just say, but I want to play with the toys now. And eventually, after much cajoling that I'm not going to play act with myself, uh, they uh, get drawn away uh, from this room. <laughs> and eventually, the door shuts behind them. And as it does, you hear a rumble as that movement, the combination of the stomping and the door, causes that precariously balanced kind of like little cityscape to begin to collapse. And it all just rumbles all down. That car still manages to stay up. And Pen, it's the equivalent of, like, a giant leap if you wanted to jump onto it. Just going to put that out there. <laughs> yeah, if if Pen noticed it at this point as they're getting up from the corner of the house, mm -hmm. walking in the front, having eyed what they don't know is a flamingo. Because <laughs> I want to <laughs> take that. <laughs> I see it in the picture. I'm like, I'm taking that. <laughs> um, 100%. So they kind of pop it off and as they walk forward they finally notice the car is just like huh and I look back to Brandy and then they look back to the car oh that's a way to jump down I guess <laughs> yeah. Do it. I'll, I'll see you at the bottom Brandy and I go running off oh <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would do that, and that's why I said this. <laughs> With a flamingo in my arm, I run and leap. 
<laughs> more slow motion jumping. <laughs> oh, you muted. How close is this to the to the seating area that the cushions are in? You know, I have to get out of the cushion first. <laughs> <laughs> You're like just getting out as you see me jumping. <laughs> yep. Uh, and you see Pen is probably, um, I'm just going to do it in human measurements because it's a headache. Uh, they're like, the ending of that track is probably about two feet away from you. Hmm. Um, wait, two feet. So that's not, that's not super far. Could um, I? Right, Sorry. I, I did American measurements like that from my elbow to here ish. Okay. So yeah, but that's like that's the size of a cushion and a half. Right? Yeah. Thereabouts. So could I push one in the way? Try and use my my cane as like a little bit of a get underneath it and then okay go ahead and roll sturdy for me and as soon as this is resolved i'm of course going to have pen roll agile uh three on the dice plus two so oh five five your actions were unsuccessful unfortunately these cushions are just a little bit too heavy uh to push just based on the size the sheer size of them compared to you and you you try to push and you manage to get it just like a little bit further and then it stops <sighs> And you could do it in time, but unfortunately, but Pen is already leaping off with that weird pink bird thing under their arm. <laughs> Pen, please roll agile for me. Yeah. Ooh, got a 15 total. <laughs> 15, please. <laughs> Describe to me how cool you look jumping oh, yeah. <laughs> into this car and sailing down. Yep. Yeah. So I am running the brightest of pink, like Barbie pop pink flamingo underarm that I sort of swoop it to give me extra like momentum forward. As I do like that running in the air, like catching myself, I leap onto the car almost like full superhero landing my hand gripping the front of it as it with that momentum starts shooting down the track <laughs> <laughs> and this is probably the fastest you've ever gone in your entire life as it just zips down the high rocket sorry one second i oh, know i signaled the dog <laughs> Scratching at the door. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, she decided to cough at me. Anyway, uh -huh. <laughs> um, yes, just zooming down this track, it begins to curve and you go with the momentum, making sure that you stay on balance as it whips around on the track. Luckily, with your 15, um, none of the tumbling blocks fell on the tracks as you whiz around in a huge arc and you go up a bump and down and up and down and eventually skid to a halt directly in front of Spinnaker. That was the best ever. I love this place. <laughs> <laughs> it has interesting applications. So it seems a little dangerous. I mean, you just yeah. have to grip it, right? And then, like, if we had, like, a mechanism to make it safer, you know? <laughs> but does it only work on these tracks? And is now trying to answer this problem. So it's, like, <laughs> <just> looking <laughs> underneath this car and on the tracks and, yeah. Yeah, the, the tracks themselves have, like, grooves, you know, that keep these cars on on them. Um, and looking underneath, like, uh, there's the one that was flipped over already that you can just look at with no effort. Um, and rather than trying to look underneath this one. Um, and you see that there's, like, a very simple, like, 
just a prong with the wheels on each side that's like solidly in place and that's both front and back and they just spin in place um held on there so very very simple in the grand scheme of things but something that could be worked on if you wanted to I think it's more of a case of just acquiring like bits and bobs for possible projects at this point. Mm -hmm. It's very much like a, I don't know how to, probably not like a magpie exactly, but because oh, yeah. you don't have the uh, space. 100%. To carry stuff, it's very much just going, oh, that could be made to something interesting. So this, this situation is kind of like, hmm. Perhaps I could uh, take one of the wheel braces off and study it, but how heavy is that? And is that going to try rolling away? Well. Yeah, and you do see two tiny little screws that your uh, not Swiss Army knife um, does have a tool to twist off if you wanted to. Go on then. <laughs> you get a chance to use my tool. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, you use that. Let's see. Resourceful, I think. Uh, that was a four, and I accidentally hit over one of them. So I don't actually know what it was. Uh, it's now it. three. Yeah, I've just re rolled okay. it. So four and a three. And we're rolling resourceful. Mm hmm. Yeah, so that is a seven. So, oh, as in no. resourceful is a seven. Oh, so that is 14. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> I love that the lowest that you can go on resourceful is an eight. Mm -hmm. So, guaranteed, well, no, no matter what, you will never fail. Is it a nine? Or, sorry, nine. Yeah, yeah math. math is hard. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Who does math anymore? <laughs> Says the person playing games. <laughs> <laughs> math anyway, rocks. Yeah. Math rocks. Anyway, um, yes. Yeah, so uh, describe to us how you take this apart, knowing that it's like two very simple screws on the bottom. Like it's it's one of those very wow. very simple uh, car toys. Yeah. Um. So I think it's a kind of. It, it it detaches from the from the track, right? Mm -hmm. So I kind of convinced Penn to help me get it over, and then I'm just kind of balancing myself and this uh, tool, and kind of spinning it to undo these. And I put them. I put those screws immediately in my pack. Like I'm keeping those. <laughs> Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So undo that and then take off the back or just release the wheels. Um, so taking off that bottom, um, like that you realize is kind of what's holding the wheels in place. Mm -hmm. And so by taking off that plastic bottom of the car, you also make the wheels come loose and they're on spokes. They're like this. Yeah. Uh, this wide. Uh, so, yeah. So we'll kind of take those and in the interest of uh, making it look like it came apart on its own, we'll kind of leave the two pieces slightly off mm -hmm. the um, off and kind of maybe get Penn to help them um, bring it to, you know, like a maybe a ramp from the from the toy so it looks like it might have just shut off and and or fallen off and broken apart yeah and the wheels disappeared nobody yeah. knows <laughs> i mean was there I a mean, motor a <laughs> um, there's not a motor oh, in this okay. one no it's one of those very very simple ones mm -hmm. that you just have to like push along okay um I mean, it is a kid's playroom. Things uh, go missing all the time. It's very tempting to get, like, if it had a motor, it would have been over. Because I would have been like, yeah, <laughs> taking that. We need the train enthusiast to yeah. <laughs> find their room. Yeah. <laughs> the scholastic set. 
<laughs> no, that's uh, that's one of the bigs who lives in this house, and they don't set it up for a couple more months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but at that time, it's oh hot. yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dusty, you've kind of just been, I feel like you would have gathered, you can change this, of course, but I feel like you would have gathered up those little flowers that they had dropped, would you say? Yes, for sure, for sure. Started to put those in a in a more useful pile. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Eek's there, like, uh, he's outfitted with little pouches that you can, like, stuff stuff into uh, so that he can be a little bit of, like, a, a carry, uh, what's the, pack mule kind of thing. <laughs> um, and so you're able to, like, get little, the little flowers and things stuff into the packs here. Um, oh, it's so cute as well, like the little flowers sticking out of the front of the packs. I think Dusty <laughs> would probably do that deliberately so that like, there's more color on his little pack. I love that so much. It's so cute. And he gives you a little squeak. Brandy, you're still in the dollhouse. Yeah, I'm going into all the rooms and <laughs> seeing what's what. <laughs> If I find something good, I toss it over. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know what? Go ahead and just uh, roll perceptive. And this will determine how much you find, basically. I am looking into this thing and tell. It, I will tell you. Nine. A nine. So intended to do, but with a complication or a cost. So going through all of this uh now this very clearly was not meant to be functional there are no stairs in this space <laughs> and so you have to kind of like grappling hook up and heave yourself up onto the next floor and look through and uh you see that there is this uh cute little dresser and at, you go to tug on the drawers and you realize that it's not real. Um, why? Uh, and you <laughs> see uh, this really nice little uh, apple that you've seen the bigs eat it and you've managed to like get little pieces of it before, but it's like represented in your size. Um, not terribly practical, but it's cute. Um, and you find a mirror but it's not quite a, the right kind of mirror like it's not a real one it's one of those that is like a little sticker mm -hmm. that's been put on you know uh and so it shows you a warped version of yourself and i feel like other than like ponds and things like that like still bodies of water you wouldn't necessarily see what you look like in a day-to-day -day. so you look at this and you just see this warped stretched face I look like that. <laughs> oh my god! You raise That's an eyebrow right. like this. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah um that little plastic chair though uh right next mm -hmm. to it could potentially be useful and it's like wedged in there attached like all of the other things here are attached right. and of course the lamps that you saw before mm -hmm. those went over uh, i'm just wondering if they're like put together because i noticed that you know it looks like they were you know how many pieces fall off when they hit the floor oh, too. Oh yeah, uh, they are attached, but looking at them, you see that they uh, come apart in a couple of pieces. So you have to be careful. And when you 
but when you drop them down, of course, you can't be careful about that. And you see that um, one of them has broken apart a little bit uh, in like four or five pieces that uh, it's not broken, broken. Uh, you can compile them together. But even like lifting one of them up to look at it, uh, you see that there's just a giant hole that runs all the way through. So that's definitely something that if you wanted to, you could uh, probably uh, Dusty and Spinnaker could uh, rig something up to make it an actual working lamp. Very cool. Yeah. By the time she's done, the house is practically empty. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case, you know, we don't know what we... <laughs> um, one thing I will add to this, though, is knowing that you shouldn't borrow everything <laughs> because the bigs might question if everything gets yeah. taken out it's especially seemingly a brand new uh recently constructed building brick house all right i think about taking everything out it's like <laughs> What would Spinnaker do? <laughs> All right, I'll leave some of it. Well, especially things like that useless dresser. I mean, it would be a table, but it's it's a pretty dense thing. Uh, not terribly, terribly useful. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so you get anything that could possibly be useful and you shunt it off the side onto the carpet below and make your way back down with the, your partial pins. Uh, <laughs> one useful, one not so much, but at least it helps with a little kickoff. Um, and uh, make your way back down to the floor and a couple of the ones that you had dropped actually did break. But you did end up with two mismatched lamps that you could definitely do something with. Uh, you can easily like snap them back together again uh, and uh, add them to Eek's packs. <laughs> His packs are starting to look a little bit full. Yeah. And... Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. And Dusty, no one's looked in the boxes that you told them about yet. Did you want to do something about that? Yes, <laughs> I think <laughs> at this point, now that everyone's had like their initial search and the pieces that grabbed their attention, Dusty's going to be standing there like, um, the, 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 the boxes? That's, that's where the furniture was. Remember the really pretty furniture I found? Remember? Oh, I forgot about oh, this. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Do the Tuffets have ADHD? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Let's just do. Well, they have really small brains. <laughs> Listen, if you imagine this flamingo at our size, you would want it too. One hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> I see myself in the tuffets right now. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, okay, so um, Dusty is there, standing at the box, and you see a very neatly chewed hole in the corner of the box that you can squeeze through, but you're able to get in. Uh, it is meant for you to be able to get through. Dusty's like bouncing at this point. Come on, come see, come see, come see. Yeah. All right. Going in. <laughs> yeah. And so going in to this box one by one, you it's kind of like a little bit of a tight squeeze at this point because there are four of you and each tries to get in and it just <laughs> his fits in and that's it. And he just kind of head down backs back out again. <laughs> Can we even see? Um, it's a little bit dark in here uh, but your eyes adjust and you look up and it looks like just piles of this furniture it's not 
organized in any way it kind of just all, it seems like the bigs just threw them all in here and there's a lot of like very nice furniture pieces like dusty brought back uh to the house and um there are like there's a little sofa and uh there's uh side tables and things like that uh but a lot of them are kind of interlocked and stuck together and you're at the bottom of the box here hmm. dusty you're, you're better at this um, this physics thing than I am. How would how 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 would it work for us to get some of these if we if we were to take any? Hmm. I guess it might be better for us to go in the top and not this hole. This this the secret way to get to see what's in here, but maybe not so good for removing the stuff. Yeah, it does look a bit precarious. Or difficult. Difficult and precarious. Yeah, I already had a bit of an accident with the building blocks because I I, I forgot what is up sometimes comes down. Oh no. That damn yeah. Are you all right? And is uh, yeah. looking over <laughs> as much as they can in the dark. I had a... It was fine. <laughs> So how do we, we how, how do we get Eek up there though? We have to get us up there and then pass down. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to maybe do a system of getting things down because Eek is mm -hmm. pretty much stuck at the hole. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, he does um, have packs filled with stuff right now, and that's yeah. part of the problem. Yeah. But. It can can still pull something, right? Or is that going to be too much? It could be doable, yeah. <sighs> well, I've I've always got ropes on me, so or, or mm -hmm. well, in this case, mm -hmm. twine and that's connected together. Yeah. Um. So we'll send to a, whoever is willing to climb can climb it. Uh, to go up with some rope and, and see if you can kind of tie it up and get us oh. the rope so we can leverage it. Tom. You know, I'm always down to go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. A little bit too much of a daredevil, but it's fine as long as you're safe. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I can help with the setup. I'm just not much of a climber. Okay, I will observe, see if I can find, like, the best and safest route that we can uh, set up sort of a climbing path where we have a safety point at the bottom, and then I can try and make a way up to the top. Okay, I'm going to say, got my paper here, um, go ahead and roll perceptive. Okay. Wow. All right, low numbers on the die, but I have a plus six in my perceptive, okay. so 11. <laughs> hey, <laughs> amazing. So you do what you intended to do, describe what it looks like. Yeah, so I find a part where it's not as steep of a climb with the way things are piled up, and it has enough handholds and footholds that we don't have to like start puncturing anything. Um, and we're able to tie off different points on the rope um, just to make like little safety catch areas for anyone else that wants to climb up after me. Um, so we make uh, with Spinnaker and Dusty a little anchor point at the bottom. And then I start making my way up going a little zigzaggy along the way, um, pointing out anything that seems to be at least most useful and easy to grab for us at this time that we can possibly take. Um, like maybe I saw like a little uh uh what would I have seen? I'm trying to look around my own space here. 
um oh maybe there's like a loose spool of washi tape just like randomly in there <laughs> yeah absolutely it is a bright rainbow color yeah not like mine which Never. is very goth and looks like fencing <laughs> <laughs> i only have goth washi tape because halloween um so yeah i start i make my way all the way up to the top and with uh, the triumph of on top i slam the flamingo down i'm like yeah <laughs> I made it, and then I tie off the you, thread. <laughs> you carried the flamingo up yes. with you? It has yes. that little hooked neck. It would make things easy. <laughs> I'm not letting this thing go. <laughs> oh, yeah, you love all things up out of there. Exactly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So you make your way up to the very top, and uh, you've seen these kinds of uh, boxes before. They are... Um, um, like they have these flaps on top and this one is not taped shut or anything. It's like partially open. And so it takes a little bit of finagling. You hook with the flamingo hook and manage to force it all the way open. And uh, you only need to get one side. Um, and so you see this little gap that is just big enough for you all to get through between the other interior flaps. Um, you would need a little bit more of it, but knowing how it opens, you could probably push some furniture over the side and it would just go up with the flaps and down. All right. I think I found, I found something of way here. Yeah. And I set up a little hammer down the, the thread. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll climb up as well to help Pen lift things out and detangle them if need be. Mm -hmm. um, so what is it that you find first that you uh, organize to drop down over the edge? All kinds of like miniature furniture and yeah. uh, like some crafting supplies mixed in here. It's a little bit chaotic. I think a small dresser. Oh, yeah, we need places to store stuff. So, mm -hmm. and it's one of those ones that they've like um, the the drawers are functioning and they have like little loops uh for their handles but also because they're functioning the frame on the back if you just push them slightly out you could thread that twine through it Oof. to help to bring it down excellent so lower things down and <laughs> mm -hmm. lots of fun <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and one by one, and you'll get to think about this, you uh, lower a couple of bits down, knowing that you shouldn't take too much, but taking some things. Um, and it's rather uh, a lot, you realize. It's one of those things when uh, your, your eyes are too big for your stomach with <laughs> piling your food, uh, except in this case, it's furniture. <laughs> <laughs> and you borrowing. go to a craft store and you say, oh. oh, I could use that for this project. I could use I that for that project. Mm -hmm. That's how oh, you look end at that fabric. It's pretty. <laughs> so many patches. <laughs> yeah. um, and so you realize that it's going to take a little bit of finagling to get all of these things that you've borrowed properly home. Um, but there might be an easier way to do it than just dragging it or carrying it. We're in a toy room. You're in a toy oh, room. Yes. But you also have friends who have lived here longer and maybe they have uh, something that <sighs> you could use. That just too. a thought. And as you are looking at this massive furniture uh, and trying to figure out exactly what you're going to do with it, we're going to take a short break. 
So uh, don't forget, everyone, that we are doing a giveaway of two PDF copies of Under the Floorboards today. So be sure to type exclamation point floorboards into the chat to have a chance at winning a copy of this wonderful game. Also, hydrate and take your meds. As I always say, hydrate or die straight. I, I just love saying that. <laughs> um, and if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the Twitch and YouTube channels to help support Femme Creators. We'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes and see where this picks up. We'll see you soon.
and welcome back to the game. So uh, we are down a spinnaker. Uh, they had to head out, uh, but uh, we are going to uh, continue on with this little game. So our uh, lovely Tuffets um, are currently raiding the playroom. <laughs> of all of its furniture. Um, oh, and just a reminder, because I need to remember to remind you all, uh, there is a giveaway uh, for the PDF for under the floorboards. So exclamation point floorboards in the chat with an S on the end, uh, and you'll be entered to win a prize. And we have two copies of the PDF today because we have a rollover for last week. So uh, getting back into the game, though, um, Spinnaker saw everything that was going on here and decided that um, they should go back and get the help of the mantles uh, to try to figure this out, especially considering the fact that they've been in this home for quite a while. Um, and uh, in doing so said that they were going, I won't speak for them, but uh, saying that they were going to uh, stay behind in the home and like work with the things that they had already collected. And so um, they head off and you wait a little while and it doesn't take terribly long uh, before you hear uh, the sound of, um, let me actually get my character sheet over here because I made one for them. Uh, you hear the sound of uh, Flory's uh, wheels slicing through onto the hardwood here uh, next to the carpeting. Um, it's not a fully carpeted room. Um, anyway, so uh, you hear the sound of the wheels coming by and um, I would say that probably Pen, you're up there and uh, you just uh, look down and you see both Stumble and Flory mantle uh, down at the base of the box and Flory's just leaning over uh, one hand on a wheel, one hand on the, the arm of his chair and just says, so we hear that you need some help. Getting a little bit too uh, adventurous here, are you? <laughs> well, I mean, one could never be too adventurous, but get a little um, I guess uh, excited about finding things. <laughs> Uh, fair, understandable. Um, this isn't actually a box that I've looked into before, so I'm I'm interested to see what you found. Um, and he uh, makes his way over to the piled mass of furniture. So what have you collected? We have the dresser that Brandy found, and uh, what else was found in that box? I think I definitely dropped that washi tape because that could make for some like fun wallpaper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There was definitely a couch in there too. That we a couch, up. yes. Yeah. A little bit on the heavier side, but uh, it took a little bit of finagling and you managed to get it down to the floor as well. And uh, uh, Flory just kind of tilts his head at it and gives a low whistle. <laughs> I'm impressed. Um, I don't know how you expect to get this back. Well, I have an idea. <laughs> I'm all ears. Did you see those wheeled things? Those cars? Oh. <laughs> those are new. Interesting. And he makes his way over to the one that was broken apart. I see Spitaker has been at work. <laughs> <laughs> they have. They have. Okay. Well, well that one's thinking. useless. <laughs> yeah, that one's kind of gone, but mm -hmm. but there are more, and mm -hmm. I was thinking one of those under the couch, and then we do a push, 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 push. Might be a little bit tricky. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to be fully, like he's kind of gesturing with his hands. I think that it's going to end up wobbling a lot. Might be a little bit complicated to do. We can. Uh, do you have more of that twine? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have a bunch in my backpack. Okay, perfect. I mean, if we manage to rope it around, we might have a better chance of it. So we can certainly give that a try. And uh, Stumble is just looking around, sees how much you've packed into Eek's bags, and it's just like, are you 
Are you sure that you should be taking this much? You don't think that they're going to notice? Uh, is... <laughs> okay. I mean, it's a bit from everywhere. It's fairly dispersed. True. Maybe leave a couple of the flowers. <laughs> Might be a good idea. I think that they would notice if all of them were missing. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping okay. this, though. I'm hugging the <laughs> pink bird thing. <laughs> what on earth? That is a messed up looking bird. I Little know, bird? but with the way its neck is and like the long like stem on it, it's just like be able to hook onto things. Huh. Okay. Um. Still. Um. And he stumble. Uh. Takes a step back, and he's looking at these piles of boxes that you all are looking at. Oh. Okay. So I can I can read the Biggs writing. Oh. It says Grandma's house. Gram Gram Grammy's Grammy's house. So I think that it must be someone else's stuff. So maybe they don't even know what's in here oh. yet. Oh. That's that's useful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That that makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> oh. I, yeah, we got a little overexcited. <laughs> I can tell. I know that you're trying to fix up your new home, but just remember that if they find us, they find all of us. Be smart. Yeah. And Flory yeah. just pats him on the hand. You worry too much. It'll be fine. Come on, let's let's get this rope situation going on with this couch <laughs> and this strange wheeled thing. <laughs> so uh, I would like, I think that Pen, you're the one who suggested this. So I think you just need to make this roll. Um, okay. Well, would you be, I would say sturdy sturdy okay but you... feel free to argue for something different if you think something else would apply um no i'm good with sturdy okay what? all right so oh, yeah. seven with the die plus four is okay. 11. okay you do what you intended to do describe what it looks like yeah so uh we get you know, the little car over um, sort of uh, building like a flat base foundation to pile our additional stuff on top. Mm -hmm. And then with the threads, um, sort of make uh, some weaving around like the quote unquote chassis of the car, mm -hmm. uh, creating almost like a, a like roped bondage sort of situation. <laughs> 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 I was, I was trying to think of the right color like and I'm like, I can't, I can't work today. <laughs> I can't work today. Um, I mean, I, I made a joke about it being just the tip with the yeah. needle. So, yeah. you know. Um, just no. slightly risky episode today. Um, <laughs> and then uh, tied them up to like maybe like a plastic plate or one of the metal bars that we pulled so that we're able to just pull the car along easily. Mm hmm. And uh, did you want to uh, personally pull it like Brandy being uh, the transporter here uh, could pull on it or maybe attach it to Eek, although his bags are looking pretty full. Yeah, yeah. Eek is looking pretty, pretty heavy there. So we, we can pull it. <laughs> and one behind too, maybe. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, and uh, meanwhile, while you're doing this, like, uh, Flory is right there, like, uh, getting up out of the chair to crouch down and, like, help you to, like, get it up and over uh, around the thing and uh, just, like, tying things off uh, as well. And he says, I saw, I saw a couple of chairs in there that looked a little bit comfortable. Is there any chance that you could maybe... Bring them out for us. 
Ooh, sure. Yeah. I can try, yeah. Okay, I just peeked in and it looks like it's a little bit cramped in there, but I think that it's doable. It just might take a little bit of effort. Mm -hmm. So where are they in the box? There, and like he ducks his head in the hole and points upward. And it's like not quite a quarter of the way down. Uh, so like there's, uh, there's two matching chairs and there's a large table on top of them. Like large to you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Might take a little bit of work, but yeah. you managed to get this couch <laughs> down. So <laughs> flip the table. <laughs> <laughs> Different kind of table flip. Yeah. <laughs> and take them down one by one and. Mm -hmm. Not gonna make you roll for this. You already <laughs> successfully rolled for the other for stuff. Sure. So um handily managing to get these uh two chairs down. They look a little bit like there's a little bit of wear and tear on one of them, and uh he just leans over and brushes it. I think that'll be doable. I can make something work with that. Um, Stumble, can you take one of these? And Stumble just immediately is like of course <laughs> lifts up the chair and just like flips it over his back like he's holding it and just walking mm -hmm. along uh, should I get the other one too and Flurry nods <laughs> and he grabs up the other one is just like carrying both of these chairs along now and you successfully manage to uh, carefully navigating. Well, let's do one more roll. You know what? I'm going to do things out of order because you know what? It's fun. I yeah. want everyone to uh, do another test your luck roll. Uh, this is a group one. So each of you rolls one die. And uh, uh, the highest number in this is three, right? Yep. Okay. <sighs> Okay. Nope. <laughs> oh, no. Five. Okay. Dusty. I rolled a six. Hey! Yay! Awesome. So that brings us to a 14. So, yes, you successfully managed to navigate. Eek is like squeaking along and he's like trundling a little bit, and there's like a little sway to his little <laughs> walk now and uh, uh, makes his way through and he you you know how fast he could walk he might be laying it on a little bit thick as he just like slowly is like ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> dramatically walking along with all this stuff and my apologies I have something in my eye you guys uh, act I'm gonna do something <laughs> I'm just imagining Eek and like Dusty trying to chaperone Eek along yeah. going, come on, yeah. don't be so dramatic. Like pushing okay. in the packs with if they get stuck in a narrower <laughs> part. And, yeah. Yeah, Take one of them to put it on the car, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, one of the flowers at one point falls out because it was just hanging a little bit too precariously. He doesn't even notice and just keeps walking. <laughs> I was wondering, could Dusty consider a thing before we leave? Mm -hmm. So they're feeling like a little bit guilty that they might have put the new neighbors in danger by being a little bit too eager. So they're wondering, is there a way to rig a trap at the doll's house? So when the small big plays with the house, it goes Jenga, so they think that they've lost the pieces and not <laughs> us taking the pieces. Interesting. So you have the picture of what it looks like. Describe to me what you want Dusty to do here to rig this trap. And then I'm going to have you roll for it and see if oh. what they want to happen is successful. <laughs> I'm just analyzing the picture now. So I think what they might try to do is use one of those sun loungers to wedge up the slide area so that the house is like 
precariously wedged okay. at a bit of an angle mm-hmm. so that when you go and touch any of the pieces they're not quite together anymore so it just mm-hmm. okay so um keeping that in mind go ahead and roll reason for me as you're trying to devise or construct this thing That is 14. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Y'all, your role. <laughs> oh, uh, so you do what you intended to do with a flourish. So not only are you managing to wedge that um, sun lounger underneath the uh the slide uh in doing so you manage to dislodge the entire house like the base of the house and so it's hanging on on like that front corner but if for example the big child picks it up it is absolutely going to collapse everywhere on the floor guaranteed oh wow love it <laughs> I mean, with a 14, you got to reward that. <laughs> <laughs> They're really happy with this now. And they like sort of like nod at their new neighbors, like fixed it. <laughs> uh, Flora looks a little impressed. Well done. Well, we should yeah. probably get going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so then you uh, head on down through the floorboards. Um, Flory and Stumble peel off at one point to bring their own furniture uh, back to their house. Um, And you know from being in there before, they already have a lot of furniture. They just (laughs) clearly like to collect it. (laughs) Uh, and so um, Flory just kind of gives a little wave and then uh, continues onward, uh, wheeling away from you. And uh, you head on down into your section, your home, uh, underneath the floorboards here. And uh, Eek is just kind of, I, I feel like, you tell me, uh, Tina, to mice pant, I feel like they would. Yeah, they can get out of breath a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They breathe a little bit harder. <laughs> okay, yeah. So he's pansy a little bit from the exertion and just kind of like lies flat down waiting expectantly for you to remove the things from his packs. <laughs> all right, all right. Yep, yep. <laughs> and Give I him see- a little scritch. <laughs> I assume you take the packs off of him because it's one of those things of like you don't want him scurrying around with packs on him because the bigs might question that. Yes. <laughs> Just maybe. But he wriggles a little bit, enjoys the scritches, and then just goes over to Dusty's area and curls up in a little ball. Just sleeping away. Such a good voice. He did a lot of work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's the best mouse. He deserves a nap. (laughs) So you have amassed all of this stuff. And my question for you now is, and we can do this as kind of like a little montage thing. What do you do with all of the things that you have here? Uh, and like, how do you modify and, uh, we'll have Spinnaker add a little bit of a spin to it as well. No pun intended. Um, and, uh, uh, we'll have those additions. However, uh, what all are you doing with this as you're like building up your home? So many questions. It's almost. I don't like even remember what we all talk. <laughs> you have a couch. You now have one of those toy cars because you strapped it to the toy yeah. car. Um, <laughs> you have a dresser and maybe a couple. You have washi tape. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think pen with the washing tape. Washi tape is going to do like herringbone plaster of the tape on at least one of the walls to make it nice, bright rainbow colored. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
task. I love that. It takes a little bit uh, to do. It's a little bit of effort. Uh, mm -hmm. You stand on that very handy, useful couch to reach up a little bit higher to... That washi tape might be perfect as well for like pinning up some of the like wallpaper that um, I was gathering. Might mm -hmm. steal some to to pin up some <laughs> of the pictures. Yeah, for sure. And uh, because I know that we got excited about that photo that I shared uh, last week or something. Like, did have you found any like little postage stamps to put up on your walls? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's some weird ones. Hang on. Let's look at what current postage stamps look like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this one. Uh, you have one that looks like, and you've seen these uh, before. Um, not in this style, but uh, there's one that has like a little fox uh, figure staring straight out at you uh, with some uh, stylized, not trees in the background. Um, and you also see that there's one that has a little mouse. <laughs> it doesn't look anything like E, but <laughs> it's still a cute little mouse. That's so perfect. That needs to go over the new couch, I think, as like a centerpiece. Might clash a little bit with the herringbone rainbow, but who cares? <laughs> <laughs> with the right frame, we can make it work. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is okay, very Does the cool. couch look better here or over here or... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you've managed to uh, build out a little bit more. Like this is taking time, of course, but you've managed to build out a little bit more of your house at this point, uh, like carefully constructing. You already had three of the walls, but constructing that, uh, that final one to close it off and pen to get that beautiful glass artwork that you made up uh, in the door frame. Um, you manage, you have the, uh, the lamps, which I'm sure that, uh, Flory and Stumble would be willing to tell you where they got their little fairy lights. Uh, still a project to work on, but mm -hmm. something to do. Uh, and you are all just looking around in the space. It's really starting to become a home. And as you are looking around, taking all of this in, you begin to hear very loud scurrying from up above, like claws on hardwood, running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And you realize that something that you missed being in the playroom is that that very large creature that the uh, uh, the mantles had warned you about that you had seen its bed of in the hallway uh, must have come to call with the small big, which sounds so weird to say, but <laughs> <laughs> the big child mm, it still sounds weird. Anyway, uh, and uh, you just hear a that kind of reverberates around the space. Yes, I can imitate my dog perfectly. <laughs> I got and out of there just in time. Mm -hmm. Sounds like... <sighs> now, the question is, uh, what would you all like to do in this moment now? Do you want to set up for uh, something for the future? Keeping in mind, we are halfway through the season with this mm -hmm. episode. Is there anything in particular that you would like to do, your characters to do uh, right now? So, a bit of a question about, like, 
the orientation of where that playroom might be in relation to where we are. Mm -hmm. Um, is it above to the side? Like, um, let me draw it for myself, and then I'll be able to. <laughs> because I started drawing out the house before, so came in here. I would say um, it's not the um, sorry I'm I'm looking at these rooms. Let's see, that's a bathroom, and then staircase leading up here. Yeah, so it's off of the living room. What we know to be the living room. So kids room, I'll send this picture to you all. Um, this, do, 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 I'm drawing a map. <laughs> um, and this is the study. Okay. I'm sending this picture to you all right now. It's a terrible picture, but you know what? It will be fine. Doop, 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 doop. I'll let you know what Dusty's thinking while, while that's ending, but Dusty kind of is thinking and goes, I think that room with the small bigs might be one of the most useful and viable rooms in this house. I think we need to start thinking about some hidden pathways and easier ways to get in and out of that room yeah maybe with a ramp so we can Ooh. more easily things down mm -hmm. that it's sounds definitely fantastic something, definitely something you can try to construct yeah so um l is for living room just so you know in this and then k is for the kids room so it's right next to the kitchen but the doorway leads into the living room and there's the the long hallway with the grandfather clock on the left door into the kitchen and then there's the staircase leading up directly across from the bathroom and that little arrow on the bottom is how you entered into the house to begin with My random rushed scrawl. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's great, but definitely um, I think Dusty would spend some time trying to draft something kind of similar to that, to that diagram and think, you know, if we put a ramp here or if, if we had access to that wall instead of that wall and just trying to make access to that room easier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and one of the things uh, that you know is that the mantles, they live underneath the living room uh, and you're underneath the study. And so it wasn't far for them to like come over and help and all of that. And uh, um, there is already like a partial, um, like you've seen this in the walls now being here for several days that um, Florian Stumble have created kind of like a ramp system mm -hmm. uh, inside the walls. Uh, so the ground floor is 100% accessible. And so um, there's all manner of like jerry-rigged things. And uh, one of the things that you've seen is that uh, one of the projects that Flory has is this uh, really intricate like pulley system that he's been working on that leads to the upper floors. It's just a matter of time and materials, uh, but he's trying to make an easy way to like hook in and get up uh, to the upper levels. Oh, wow. That's definitely worth us contributing to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, at one point, say, if you uh, go up to him in uh, the, essentially, it's like a hallway to you. It's like between the walls. Uh, but you come up to him as he's working and he's got like this big old spool um, of wire and he's like uh, just twisting it around. Got little goggles on as well because you never know when that's going to spring out uh, the end of the wire. And he just uh, looks up and says, oh, hi. 
Can I help you with anything, Dusty? Well, I actually wanted to help you. I mean... Uh, you are more than welcome to. Uh, this is a long-standing project of mine. Well, many hands make lighter work, huh? You are not wrong. Um, here, I'm trying to hook up the spool here, and he's pointing up, and you see that like there's this chained uh, structure, and there's actually like a full-on platform here that's uh, large enough for uh, like his chair and another person, uh, basically. Uh, and so like he has this platform set up with chains, and it's like hooked up to a system, but he just looks up and says, so I can't reach that next section up there. Um, Stumble is helping me with this as well. But if you wanted to get up to that area and like hook these in, maybe, maybe you have some ideas. I'm all ears. Yeah. I'm, I'm really good at tinkering, but not as good as spinnaker. Mm. Um, but yeah. They I'm... said that they were going to help too. Yeah. They've been they, bringing me some things. They're fantastic at this kind of thing. But do you know who's a really good climber? Pen. Yeah, you're not wrong. They are <laughs> really into that. <laughs> it's one of I mean, their favorite jobs. I mean, if you want to go get them, maybe we can tackle a little bit of this today before before the sun sets. Yeah, be right back. And runs down the hall being like, Pan! <laughs> <laughs> what is Dusty interrupting you doing? What are you working on? Yeah, so Pan is reorganizing their bag, making sure they have enough thread and all that stuff. Figuring out some different things they can do with the flamingo because they're not going to use as decoration. That is now <laughs> oh, yeah. strictly a tool like for everything for pen. <laughs> it is now a part of them. Um, it can be a walking stick. It can be a bat, a golf club, all the stuff. Uh, so they're just like practicing like how they can use it properly um, with the backpack on, with it off, trying different things. Um and yeah just uh practicing a swing as dusty is like coming in to <laughs> call them it's very alice in wonderland of you oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> that dusty do you want to do some climbing for us yeah i always want to do climbing that's so We're all right to a pulley and we need someone to oh yeah I can definitely do that especially now that I have this pink thing <laughs> <laughs> looks super handy I love that that is the dollhouse yep. that I pulled up it makes me so happy <laughs> I'm gonna call it my birdie hook because it looks kind of like a weird bird that has a hooked neck <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Brandy, do you want to come in case we have something heavy to lift? Certainly. Yeah. And Spinnaker is busy working away at something. Uh, does not even pay any attention to all of you as they're just like steadily working at whatever they're crafting at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. You head on back and uh, Flory is just chilling there. Figured that he'd just wait for you to see uh, what you wanted to do. And you see this uh, platform structure and it's definitely something that knowing how tall the walls are here, um, it is definitely a massive undertaking, a big job to do, but it's a start. Yeah. Yep. We will give it a go. So, Penn, you want to do some climbing? Yeah, I'm totally down. How far do you need me to get up? Uh, as far <laughs> as you can. Um, the way I'm making this is that there's going to be, like, um, 
levels to it so that if one of them breaks then we won't go crashing down because that would not be fun um no so i'm just trying to get up to the next level and bring it up from there and hopefully eventually i can get back to that craft room it's been a long while since i've been in it yeah all right yeah i can definitely get to that point there and we can build the first level to get up and continue on from there right i fashion my rope around me and get sturdy anchor points with help of everyone all right ready to go okay roll enduring for me all right uh that is a nine total nine total you do what you intended to do but with a complication or a cost (sighs) i'm gonna break my heart i'm gonna do it no no (laughs) i'm climbing and i've been using this flamingo so much (laughs) and it gets to a point where it's just a little too solid when i smack it in and i hear a crack in the neck (laughs) oh no (laughs) And his head falls down to us on the ground. Lori <laughs> just pulls the, the wheels back to roll himself backward a little bit as it crashes down where he was. Can we fix it? <laughs> Flory's just full on belly laughing. <laughs> because he knows how obsessed you've become with this birdie hook. <laughs> For you, Pen, I will see what I can do. But maybe stop using it to hook into things like that. Okay. I just make a little point on the wall, come down slowly with the rest of the body in my arm, put it down (laughs) gently, give it a pat, and start making my way back up. Oh, (laughs) jeez. It was good to know you, birdie thing. No, we're going to save my birdie hook. We're going to save him. <laughs> There's that impossible glue stuff, sticky stuff that we've seen. I know it's out there. That's <laughs> <laughs> Trey. <sighs> oh, no. Uh, so, yes, sadly, Birdie Hook is temporarily no more, but you do manage to uh, hook in a couple of points uh, further up on the wall, um, getting some of that chain leading up. Uh, it's going, excuse me, it's going to be a little bit more complex than uh, just simply running chains up. Uh, things like that. And uh, that's definitely something that Flory knows and that uh, he's working on with uh, Spinnaker. Um, and he uh, procures one of the one of the many gears that uh, they had also collected from the grandfather clock. I think I can do something with this. Because if it's all hooked up here and you spin that around, and these latch on we might be able to create a system where it doesn't take all that much effort. I mean, a lot of arm strength, but we would be able to get up to the top relatively easily. I'm perfectly fine with anyone using this so long as you don't break it. But it's an idea. Yeah. It's a fantastic idea. And you break it, you fix it. Exactly. (laughs) But what if you break it more if you fix it he just <laughs> does this like dead on stare at you brandy okay okay I, uh, yeah i won't try to fix it alone then <sighs> okay <laughs> so long as we know our limitations yeah so what else do you need hold up there <laughs> um <laughs> I think that the more pertinent thing right now is uh, this birdie hook situation. (laughs) As he like snatches up the head and just looks over to Pen. I know. I am birdie. 
Cody, why did you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> why? No. <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. Don't worry. We have some of that tacky glue stuff. It's not the best in the world, but we have some of it. I'll, I'll get it repaired. It's not, don't worry about it. I was just messing with you. It's fine. Okay. It hurts Come me, on. though. <laughs> Come on. And he just uh, begins to uh, push away and uh, leads you back to uh, the Mantle's home, which uh, has that low ramp that uh, leads down to the fairy lit interior. And uh, he has one of these giant sticks, like sticks of glue that like he heaves the top off of and sets it off to the side. <laughs> And just scoops a hand in and just covers the broken bit and sticks it on to the other side. Don't touch that for probably a day, a, a sun. Leave it alone for a sun. Let it dry. It'll attach, but it's not going to be perfect. Doesn't need to be perfect. He just needs to be whole. <laughs> just gives you a pat on the shoulder. Maybe now you know not to use the tools that you really like in ways that they're not meant for. I mean, you don't know what they're not meant for until you try. <laughs> Your birdie hook was meant to be stuck on a dollhouse. It wasn't meant to do any heavy lifting. Uh, but it's doing so good. <laughs> Maybe I'll just find a way to reinforce it. <laughs> Wash and tape. Oh, yes. <laughs> I never have any luck with washi tape. I've never used it myself, so I don't... <laughs> it just likes to peel up for me. I don't know. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> uh and so um flory says you know why don't you help me with dinner i'll feed you <laughs> like let's let's get a nice meal going at least i could do for uh you all helping me with that especially if you're gonna keep doing it in the future i'm all game well you helped us <laughs> so you know it's fair game so we owe you a meal then. We give and take. <laughs> Help me cook the meal without poisoning us. And uh, uh, then uh, we'll call it even. But we're going to be neighbors for a very long time. We might as well work together with each other. Yeah. Okay. Friends and neighbors. <laughs> Uh, and so he uh, pulls out this like relatively elaborate for y'all uh, meal uh, and begins chopping things and handing things off to you all. Uh, describe to me, uh, and I think that will close out the episode here. Uh, describe to me what you make. What little bits and pieces, what have you pulled from the kitchens? What meal are you making today? Mm. Yeah, I think Penn is very much like a survivalist cook. So very basic needs while well, trying to make it tasty. Mm -hmm. So I think they just take like bits of like flour and cream and maybe some seasoning like uh, oregano and thyme and just make little like biscuit balls. Oh, yeah. Mm. I like that. Especially because you can do like a campfire biscuit mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'd be good. And then when they're about done, you butter them a little bit more and then put, pop them back in just for the extra like crisp layer. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sounds so good. And then what about if we grab a couple of like dried beans from the pantry and we could make our own like little like 
bean stew to dip. Ooh, like a maybe with a bit of mushroom. Mm. Ooh, and a couple baby potatoes to cut up. Yeah, <laughs> baby baby potatoes, ones that the bigs <laughs> don't even bother cutting up to cook because yeah. like there'd be nothing left of them. Uh, but you manage to like secrete them away and those are shelf stable you can well, yeah. relatively compared to other things so you can hang on to them for a very long time especially underground to... yeah oh yeah for sure and uh dusty i just want to tell you the image that i had in my head when you said the beans because in my brain i went oh it can be like a, a soup bowl <laughs> <laughs> this big for you <laughs> I love it. Like each of us has like a bean, like the skin holds our little stew. Uh, and it might even have like beans in the stew as well, but you know. yeah. I love that. And um, at one point, uh, right as you've uh, finished, all finished getting the meal gathered together, uh, Spinnaker does show up and uh, joins in. Uh, but also uh, Stumble comes walking in and he's got like this little strip of like fabric and he's like rubbing at the back of his neck. <sighs> the bigs brought the... the horrible creature again we heard it yeah yeah it saw me and it chased me back into the wall oh no I, i'm okay i'm okay but that thing is a menace hopefully their visit is short again because they don't stay long usually mm -hmm. i do not want to have to deal with that thing for a very long time Oof. And then he just kind of sniffs the air. Food. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to yeah. complain about food. Nah. <laughs> we helped. Yeah, we got I... some good things going here. All right, then. Well, let's all gather up then. And he uh, starts to set everything. Uh, and you all... Uh, settle down at the table and um, you see that um, both Flory and uh, Stumble are sitting in their nice new wicker chairs. Uh, Flory just transfers over there. Oh, this is so much more comfortable. Amazing. <laughs> and you all share a meal. Meanwhile, hearing the pitter-patter of that large creature once again just going back and forth and back and forth it growls at one point and you hear a thump as it pounces on something and then it skitters around again oh gosh <laughs> i hope eek's okay mm. <laughs> a scary thought in game but also animals have plot <laughs> armor so yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, and with that the sound of the, the thumping and growling and barking from above and this nice warm meal that you've all prepared mm. uh, that is where we will end our session so uh, for everyone who's watching don't forget that we have our giveaway going it is exclamation point floorboards with an s to enter into that giveaway uh you have uh, another minute or so to do that and then uh we will be doing the drawing so uh to start off uh we will do our outros and um i know that we start um i'll start with me actually because i'm i always forget that i'm supposed to do things hi i'm anya uh, i have been your uh guiding voice and uh, you can find me everywhere at lalian cosplay um if you want to uh book a game with me uh, i'm also a pro gm on start playing and i am lalian there it is french for the lioness fun fact um uh, that is me. Also, uh, Lola, uh, who's not here to do their outro, uh, they uh, played Spinnaker, uh, and you can find them everywhere at Third Vault Yarn. So go and 
check them out. Uh, and then let's go over to Caden. Yes, I'm Caden. I played Brandy. And what do I got going on? Nothing. Oh, you can find me. at. Yes, this is how my brain goes. I don't know. <laughs> I can be found on Twitter at Magdalene Bloom. And I might not be a pro GM, but I'm a pro player. <laughs> so if you have opening in any games, I love playing new systems as well as the basics. And yeah. Okay. Reach out. <laughs> And then let's bring it on over to Tina. Hey folks, my name is Tina. I was playing Dusty, our wonderful um, trapsmith. He loves the, the resident mice speak. Um, I can be found through Linktree easiest, um, Purple Tina Beans on Linktree. And um, if you like miniaturized stuff, you should also check out my hamster content because my hamster enclosures feature a lot of these sort of shrunken down scenes. So, yeah, you might find a, a cute hamster in a bobble hat if you look at my Instagram. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and last but not least, Natalie. Yeah, hi everybody. I'm Natalie. Have been playing Pen. Find me most places on the internet with Ghost Candle or Ghostly Candle on Twitch and YouTube. Um, can find me in a lot of places playing games. Uh, later today, 8 p.m. Eastern time, I'll be on Nerds with Dice running a game of night. Uh, later this week, I will be on Horde of Tales playing Burnaway. Um, and when I'm not on everyone else's channels playing at their tables and having fun with cool people, I do stuff on my channel from time to time, from varieties of like gameplay of games and solo games too. Um, I've also started my journey of being a pro GM. I am running a Humblewood 5e mm -hmm. campaign as well as an Iron Sworn, which I have openings for tomorrow. So if you want to do <laughs> that again, Ghost Candle, find me. I'd love to have you. Yeah. Oh, and if anyone watching is in the Netherlands, I'm going to be at Collecticon this weekend, so you should definitely come find me. Um, anyway, let's see. I believe that we have our winners. I don't know if uh, that was rolled for anything, but I did see two people, so I think I could just call it, right? Question mark. <laughs> I'll continue to do uh, little announcement things. We have time. We're good. Um, so let me see. Yeah, no, that hasn't been done yet. Yeah, so a couple of fun little announcements. Um, so tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, we have a game of Bluebeard's Bride Recurring Nightmares. It's a limited series featuring unique settings from glamorous Hollywood to a terrifying asylum. Viewer discretion is advised. It is Bluebeard's Bride. Uh, if you don't know what it is, look it up. Uh, and then on Thursday, we have Alien Destroyer of Worlds, sponsored by Free League. Join gay mother Fiona and um, a, her crack team of colonial marines as she throws them through a gauntlet of one hell after another. <laughs> and then finally, because we did have some uh, things that we uh, needed to announce wonderfully and this is one that our wonderful producer is part of so um cryptid creeks hit kickstarter on september 5th smashing all of its literally all of its stretch goals in the blink of a giant octopus's eye and we cook something up with hatch and games to showcase this adventurous new system uh check out the youtube exclusive with jc darcy liv kennedy gask ida who's our producer, and Mo, and uh, get, uh, sorry, words, and back the Kickstarter to get your hands on the game yourself. It still has 16 days left on Kickstarter, so definitely check it out. Um, and then let's see if uh, we don't get a an official uh, thing on the giveaway. I do know the two people who uh, entered it, so I think I can just say it. Um, I believe it was only the two. I'm just going to check. I'm going to scroll through. We can do this super quick. Hey, if you haven't uh, submitted for the giveaway, go for it. Uh, exclamation point floorboards. 
So I've got one that I thought. There we go. Oh no, we have multiples. Never mind. <laughs> That's okay. Because I know that there was, yeah, we have three people who entered the giveaway. So I think maybe I should just roll a die in that case. <laughs> yeah. I haven't heard yeah. anything. Let's <laughs> see. I am going to roll it because I don't have my dice because I was the guiding voice that I didn't need any dice. <laughs> so... I'm rolling these sixes, but I have like the one, two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. six. So two. So Arnica and Ava uh, are our winners in that cast case. Madam Ava and Arnica are the winners of the giveaway. So yay! Um, just uh, I think. Uh, talk in in the in the discord server ava about that but yay congratulations i'm so glad you were <laughs> able to make it uh, and i hope you continue to enjoy the ridiculousness that is this game and hopefully we will be able to have an entire session with all of the players <laughs> Oop, i lost my headphone and let me see was there a message to me? Okay, perfect. Thank you. So uh, we do not have anyone to raid today. So we are just going to end the session there. Oh, do we? Oh, wait. I just saw gestures, gestures, raid target incoming. Yay. We're going to have a raid. Stick Yay. around for the raid. Find one. Yay. I'm glad. Is typing, is typing. <laughs> I'm hearing this in your voice. I just want you to know that. <laughs> the wonderful work of producers. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Let's do a dance. Do, do, do. Oh, yay. We got it. We got it. Thank you. RP, RP Geeks. I never know how to say the name. RP Geeks. Do we know what they're doing? Do, do, do. But we are going to be raiding RP Geeks. Uh, be sure to stick around for the raid and support more fabulous folks in the community. Um, I know that they were doing Starfinder last, Starfinder again. Okay, so they're going to be uh, on, they're on playing Starfinder. So definitely stick around and check that out. And we will see you next week. Yay. Thank see you for you joining. <laughs> Bye. 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 Thank you.